Hey everyone, I'm Liz Merrick. Welcome back to The Sugar Geek Show. Today we're going to be learning how to make box mix taste like scratch. Nothing tastes as good as scratch, but when you first start making cakes, you might be a little bit intimidated to make a cake from scratch. I know I was, but I'm gonna show you my tricks for making a box mix taste so good. And some of the benefits of making your box mix taste like scratch, obviously it makes the box mix taste better, but it also improves the texture and overall density of the cake, so it's better for stacking, like for instance, if you're making a wedding cake. So let's talk about the best box mix to use. In my personal opinion, Duncan Hines is where it's at. It's got a really good flavor already, and it doesn't taste too chemically, can I say that? <laughs> it doesn't taste like fake cake to me. I think it already tastes pretty good. So let's start with a nice good quality box mix. What all these ingredients are going to do is improve the taste and the texture of the box mix, make it more stable, and basically make it taste better. Add your cake mix into the bowl. So we're gonna put in some flour, sugar, Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. See, now this is showing my age. <laughs> Melted butter is super important instead of using the oil because it makes the cake easier to carve when it's firm. Otherwise, it's too soft. Great for eating, not for great for stacking. Sour cream adds a little bit of tanginess, just like that extra like, mmm, what's in there that tastes so good. A little extra salt, almond extract, and water. Now we're gonna attach the paddle attachment and mix for two minutes on medium. Start on low first. Okay, and then I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the bowl just to make sure that I got it all, all good to go. Keep in mind, because we've added so much extra ingredients, this will make more cake than just a simple box mix. All right, so now I'm going to pour this into my prepared cake pans just with cake goop. About three quarters of the way full. That's too full. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. You want it full enough that it rises all the way up to the top of the pan, but not so full that it overflows, which I have done many times. Okay, into the oven for about 28 to 30 minutes until the toothpick comes out clean. Okay, so our little demo cakes are out of the oven and we can compare this cake right here, which is just a regular box mix cake. And this is our doctored box mix cake. So you can see that this cake is a little bit more domed. It's a little bit more fluffy. And this one is a little bit flatter and it does just naturally bake up a little bit flatter. So that's one of the benefits. All right, so now I'm gonna slice these guys in half. First, we're gonna go with the the regular box mix cake, and then the doctored box mix. So it's a little bit hard to tell just by this, but you can see this has a much fluffier and kind of softer texture, and this has a denser texture. So what this basically means is when you stack this cake, just the straight box mix, the, the cake is gonna compress. It's going to lose some of its height and you're gonna end up getting bulges and your cake is not gonna be as stable. And then when you use this doctored box mix, the cake is not going to compress as much. It's got a much firmer texture, so you're not gonna have as much risk of having bubbles or bulges or blowouts. And the biggest benefit I feel is that the doctored box mix just tastes better. Oh yeah, that was so good. Fluffy and delicious. 